Happy holidays. Thank you for listening. My favorite Christmas memory was always taking the drive to Grandma's house in uh, New York City, over the river and through the snow, literally Bronx River Parkway, for big Italian family dinners and this little plastic wind-up church that played Silent Night, sitting in a cotton snowfield. And that, to me, was the epitome of Christmas. My favorite memory from the past year is getting to work with a new partner, Michael Bumpus, who's very, very funny and has been such a pleasure to work with. And I am most looking forward to another year of that, plus the Seahawks in the playoffs on Hollywood. Yeah. Um, I'm not just saying it, but obviously working with Stacy coming on in June, having to follow up uh, Jay Keeps, that's been great. And I'm looking forward to both the Seahawks and the Mariners being playoff teams. And let's throw the crack in there too. I think my most favorite holiday memory is um, the first Christmas with my son and my daughter and them seeing Santa for the very first time. I remember taking my son to Macy's in San Francisco at Union Square and the Santa that was there was absolutely like a real life Santa. And when my son saw him, his eyes lit up and he went, And I think it was one of those, it was just a magical moment for me to see the magic of giving, the magic of love in my son's face and in his heart that just really brought so much love and joy. And um, that's probably one of my most favorite memories about the holidays. Hey, happy holidays. Nate Connors here from Cairo News Radio. And uh, I want to say uh, what I'm looking forward to this year is just a lot of snow. I got a nine-year-old, and that's all he's been asking for this year. So, God, if you can give us snow, we'll all be happy. And one of my favorite memories is uh, literally getting that BB gun when I was nine years old. I went out in the backyard, and guess what I did? Shot my eye right there. Hey, it's Colleen O'Brien from Seattle's Morning News. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I'm so grateful to spend another year with all of you wonderful listeners. Merry Christmas! Christmas. Malagayan Pasco, as they would say in Tagalog. I am looking forward to another great year of shows, um, spending a lot of time with our listeners on the air, on our text line, spending time with family, and um, also looking forward to just maybe more peace and harmony in the world. I want at least once a week once a week for some outside catering company to come in and bring some food to Cairo Radio. Why? Because think about it. You ever notice we're always in a good mood when we're eating? That's what you want to do. We want to eat more food here at Cairo Radio. So happy holidays to you, your mama, your daddy, your auntie, auntie, uncle, and all live. See, G's just all about the free stuff for every everyone, so at least he's consistent. I think the best thing about 2022 is the fact that the primaries are behind us, and the best thing about 2023 is there will be no national elections. We're just looking forward to beautiful local news, and, you know, the Mariners potentially going to the World Series. Merry Christmas. Actually, in 2023, you know what I'm looking forward to? Uh, the Mariners getting to the World Series. Absolutely. And why not? Seahawks in the Super Bowl. Why not? Lisa, what is a good memory that stands out to you in the past year? I always love Christmas music and singing at my church on Christmas. And last Christmas was very special because I got to sing harmonies with a singer I really love. Uh, looking forward to more music this year. A happy holiday and all the best of the new year to everybody watching this. Um, it's been a great year for us here at Cairo Nights. We appreciate each and every person who's contributed to the show, whether they've been texting, calling in, writing us via an email. Spike and I are very grateful for you and the year we've had and really excited for the year to come. We hope you have a wonderful Christmas or whatever you celebrate with your family, with your friends, and I hope that it's a joyous and bountiful time and join us again in 2023. It's going to be exciting. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, any way you celebrate the holidays. I hope you have a wonderful and joyous holiday season. It means a lot to me and my family. I have a holiday tradition of watching It's a Wonderful Life at least 20 times a year. The message of It's a Wonderful Life about how the holiday season reminds us of what's really important and how much we matter, even if we're not aware of it at the time. So that's, that's what helps me with the holiday season. I think what I'm most appreciative of from 2022 and looking forward to in 2023 
is being able to do the job that I, I truly love doing and was, I think, born to do, dare I say. Um, I didn't think I'd have an opportunity to work in radio again and relate to an audience again. And the fact that I get to do that now and look forward to doing that in 2023 is really wonderful for us. Oh, hi there. I'm sorry. I was, I was focusing on the board. Have one of those, yeah, one of those holidays, so have a good one of those.